I am the board's champion for meaningful parent engagement, modern facilities, and programs pre-K through adult. I support rigorous and relevant arts and education and academic instruction to ensure our Mount Diablo students are globally competitive, college or career ready, and critical thinkers and problem solvers. Our teachers must be highly qualified, creative, and able to address each student's unique learning style. In order to create positive and engaging school climate, we must now focus on the needs of the whole child and provide essential school support, including counselors and vice principals. I honor you as a voter and respect your wallet as a taxpayer. I am passionate about public education. I am responsive to the community and committed to serving our Mount Diablo students and community. Vote for Linda Mayo. Mr. Lee. Thank you, Mr. Commissioner um, My name is Trevor Lee. I am a candidate for Mount Diablo Unified School District. I am a parent of two current students in the school district. And when I will make a decision, if I'm on the board, I will make a decision thinking about the perspective of how does this impact my children? How does this impact other students? How does this impact other families? So that would be the perspective that I bring to the board. I want to have several priorities. I want to make Mount Diablo Unified a destination district for students, families, as well as teachers. My kindergarten teacher recently left to go to a competing neighboring school district, and that was heartbreaking. We are training our teachers, and they are leaving to go to a better opportunity. I don't fault them. I think we need to improve our school district. I would also like to allow us to train our high school students so that they're ready for either college, um, a career, or any other field that they choose after high school by talking to community leaders, to business leaders, to universities, to find out what skills will make them relevant so that they can compete in a global environment as well as our, in our local environment. I think that it's really important for our students to succeed and to achieve, and I think that we can do that um, by increasing the quality of the entire school district um, to make the entire school district better for everybody. Again, my name is Herbert Lee. I appreciate your support. Thank you very much. Mr. Mason. Hi, I'm Deborah Mason. I think I would be a good addition to the school board. I've worked in education at Mount Diablo when my children were younger. I now work for UC Davis and do 4-H programs in low-income communities. I train staffs all across the state in after school to help provide quality after school programs. Um, I've been going to the meetings for the last three years, attending every meeting that I can, and I often feel like the parents don't feel there's someone there that really hears their voice. Uh, there's a lot of school board members that have the school perspective, but not the community activist perspective that a lot of the parents come forward with. I think it's important that every decision we make is based on what's good for children. I think it's important that we respect the communities we serve and respect their differences and try to provide services that are relevant for them. And I just think I'm, I would be a fresh approach. I've been 20 years in public service. I've been a community activist. I have a proven record of bringing innovative programs forward that have gone on to get recognition in the state. And come November, you have three votes and Deborah Mason's just asking for one of them. Thank you. Mr. Ryan, thank you. Hi, my name is James Ryan. I'm running for Mount Diablo Unified School District Board because I have held the belief that the most, and I'm sure that everyone else will agree, the most important difference that you can make in a community is in the education of its youth. Um, by trade, I have worked on with groups and campaigns that make a difference and it's been interesting enough to work on my own. Um, serving the community in which I've lived in has been a crucial part of my life for the past 15 years and I'm hoping to continue on that tradition. I'm all for openness, honesty, transparency, and bringing everybody to the table because these are issues that impact us all in some way or another and everybody deserves a voice. I believe that we should be turning Mount Diablo uh, School District into a destination district where uh, parents want to send their children to school, where the best teachers, the best administrators, the best faculty I may not have a child in the district, but I would like to. And if I'm going to be having a child in the district, I want to make sure that it is shaped into the quality of education that I grew up with and that most of us grew up with because it has generated such excellent people who have come up to serve and make a difference in their community. And I want to continue on that tradition as well. I thank you very much. I'd like to thank um, everybody here for being part of this. And I encourage you all to vote James Ryan. Mr. Langley. Thank you. 
Thank you. After serving eight years in the U.S. Army, uh, three years in the Rapid Development Force as a logistics sergeant, I began my college career in engineering, but I volunteered one day a week in a first grade English language learner elementary school in Pittsburgh. This was my commitment to community service, and it also changed my goal. I changed my major in, to U.S. history, and I graduated from Cal State Hayward, now East Bay, uh, cum laude. And I got my credential there and began teaching in the district from which I graduated, and my father was a custodian for many years, Mount Dabley Unified. My wife and both of my daughters graduated from high school from this district, and I'm committed to this district. I've worked for 23 years in the district to counteract the slow dismantling of education in California. I believe we're now at a point where we can change the direction to the positive. I know education, I've worked with English language learners, I've worked with special ed students, and one time I even combined regular ed classroom with special ed classroom and solved the success that when you have high expectations and allow students to learn. I know budgets, I've been trained in school budgets, and I know one thing for sure, public schools in America are not failing, and I want to continue making them better. But Michael Langley, Mount Dabble Unified School District School Board. Thank you. Ms. Hanson, you get the last word. Thank you. Uh, my name is Cheryl Hanson, and I'm currently on the Mount Dabble Unified School Board. I have served one term, so this would be my second term that I'm seeking. I surprised people because they thought I'd just do one term, and someone told me, you'll be having so much fun, you're going to want to do this again. Well, what it really became is, I think I've made a difference, and that's why I want to continue to move the district forward in a positive direction. Four years ago, I ran for school board because I was um, a county office of education administrator training teachers and principals who would come into my training and share frustration and fears about the direction of Mount Diablo. So I determined I could either sit on the side and listen or I could be part of the solution. So I chose to, to run for the school board and to my pleasure have been able to serve for the last four years. This is community service, public service for me. This is not my career. I spent uh, 24 years as a teacher and administrator at Mount Dabble Unified where I began my career. I went on then to be an assistant principal and a high school principal before going to work at the Contra Costa County Office of Education where I work with school districts throughout the state on school improvement. I found that change, of course, is never easy. And I spent my first few years advocating for some positive change, and I'm very proud to say that I think the changes that I have stood for have made a difference, bringing in new, strong leadership, um, raising graduation credits, which was one of my issues, reaching out to our communities by establishing joint city council meetings, restoring athletics and music, as well as um, work hours and benefits for our staff. I'm running for re-election because I want to continue using my knowledge, experience, and expertise. I care about what happens to this school district, and I'd like to be there to make sure that we go in a positive direction that has now been done. Thank you, and please vote for Cheryl Hansen, Mount Diablo School Board. That concludes our roundtable discussion of candidates running for Mount Diablo Unified School District. Once again, the candidates are Cheryl Hansen, James Ryan, Deborah Mason, Herbert Lee, and Linda Mayo. For more information on the candidates, visit the website smartvoter.org.